my daughter has just left there uh, after working for a prominent senator and could not get through with her problems at all. Even more evidence has surfaced regarding the sexual assault allegation against Joe Biden from a former staffer of his, Tara Reid, from an event that took place back in 1993. So I've done previous reporting on this. Maybe I'll link to the video above to give you the full context. But essentially, if you don't know the backstory, Tara Reid, former Joe Biden staffer, was essentially cornered and physically assaulted by Joe Biden. Now, there has been very little reporting on this up until now. But it appears that finally, with this new piece of evidence and another piece of evidence that I'm also going to get to, the media is beginning to take this seriously. So first, uh, I will say before I get to um, this second piece of evidence, uh, it involves her neighbor at the time. So her neighbor at the time actually un uh, was told about the story. So I'll get to that in a minute. But first, this uh, first piece uh, of new evidence regards her late mother, who in 1993, um, the month Tara Reid left office, a woman called the Larry King Show, saying her daughter had problems at a prominent senator's office, but did not want to go to the press about it. The woman was Reid's late mother. So there is now video of this. Before I get to the video, let me just give you the top line. A uh, caller dialing in from San Luis Obispo, California. Um, congressional records list 1990, August 1993 as Reed's last month of employment with Biden's Senate office. And according to property records, Reed's late mother, Jeanette uh, Ultimus, was living in San Luis Obispo County. Here is the transcript of the beginning of the call. So instead of giving you the transcript, let me show you the actual video. This came out. Um, by the way, I should mention Ryan Grimm here. Ryan Grimm of The Intercept doing the reporting on this. He also was uh, vital to breaking the Christine Blasey Ford story of that allegation against Brett Kavanaugh. So this is not, you know, some guy that has it in for Joe Biden. No, he is a guy that is a true investigative reporter. So in addition to breaking that Christine Blasey Ford uh, story, he's also been breaking this one as well. In addition to, I should say, uh, Katie Halper, who was the first person to interview uh, Tara Reid about this uh, allegation. But here, let's get to the clip. So uh, Chris Hawk, uh, Hawk or Hook. Um, tweeted out here saying, uh, here is the video from August 11th, 1993's Larry King Live, as described by The Intercept. Yes, hello. Um, I'm wondering what um, a, a, a staffer uh, would to do besides go to the press in Washington. My daughter has just left there uh, after working for a prominent senator and could not get through with her problems at all. And the only thing she could have done was go to the press and she chose not to do it out of respect for him. Or she had a story to tell, but out of respect for the person she worked for, she didn't tell it. That's true. So there you go. Just another piece of evidence that the entire time Tara Reid has been telling the truth while being completely ignored by mass media. But as I said, this appears to be one piece of evidence, I guess, that even mainstream press can't ignore. As following this, CNN did indeed cover it. Jake Tapper tweeting out the story here from CNN. Biden's accuser says mother called into Larry King Live in 1993 for advice after alleged sexual assault. And uh, CNN also did a, this is a seven minute segment on the, uh, the story, including the clip from Larry King. They may have covered this more at this point. I don't know, but this is at least one um, segment that has been done on this allegation. Joe Biden, in so many ways, is a, is a horrible candidate. His platform, horrible. Uh, his history on issues, horrible. His mental acuity, not in a good place. And now you have a legitimate, serious sexual assault allegation. And this is all because this entire time the mass media did not actually do their job. They did not vet Joe Biden at all. While the entire time complaining and claiming that, oh, Bernie Sanders hasn't been vetted at all. How many times did you hear the mainstream press describe how Bernie Sanders hadn't been vetted when they spent the last four years smearing him and creating stories to attack him with? Here you have Joe Biden, 
I mean, even if this sexual assault allegation didn't exist, you have Joe Biden's entire career of being on the wrong side of issues, be it on trade deals, on war, on, on, uh, on banking deregulation. I mean, go on and on and on when it comes to Joe Biden's record, uh, when, actually, when it comes to actual policy. And then you have Biden's mental faculties, barely touched at all by the press. Now you have a sexual assault allegation. Just, the, I mean, it was hard to imagine that the Democratic Party would put up a worse candidate than Hillary Clinton, but they did it. More here. So there was this rumor going around or this claim going around online that CNN had actually tried to or had actually removed the episode, that episode of Larry King where her mother called in. Um, apparently that didn't actually happen. CNN said that it doesn't control distribution to, to Google Play and other episodes are also not available to watch. So I just wanted to point that out in case you had heard that story. It appears to be not true. And also, it's kind of obvious it isn't true that they deleted it because they are actually covering the Larry King clip and playing it on air. So I don't think they would go and delete the episode. It wouldn't make any sense. Um, but I just wanted to put that in there. The other piece of new evidence, though, this is, I mean, this could be two separate videos because these are two separate pieces that have now uh, come out in the past week from Business Insider. A former neighbor of Joe Biden's accuser, Tara Reid, has come forward to corroborate her sexual assault account, saying Reid discussed the allegations in detail in the mid-1990s. So I always link to all my sources below the video. If you want to read this full story, you can. It's in the description box below the video under sources. Um, but essentially here, uh, Tara Reid had a neighbor she was close with in, in the, in the mid-1990s. And while discussing, uh, I think the way the neighbor described it uh, as a violent stories, so they were sharing their own personal uh, stories that, that they went through. Um, Tara Reid shared this story about Joe Biden. And this is a Joe Biden supporter. So this is not, you know, this is somebody who, who said in the piece. So her, her neighbor's name is um, uh, Linda uh, Lacassie. A, a Biden supporter tells Insider that Reid told her about the alleged assault in detail in 1995 or 1996. Quote, this happened and I know it did because I remember talking about it. So this is somebody who plans to vote for Joe Biden. She says so in the piece. She plans to vote for Joe Biden. But she said she had to come out and discuss this because she knew that Tara Reid was telling the truth. And she didn't like to see Tara Reid get, uh, get attacked in the press or by whoever. Um, so she wanted to come out and be honest about this story, about her being told about it. And clearly, I mean, how can you possibly refute this story at this point? How many more pieces of evidence does someone like Alyssa Milano need to see that this is a, that this is a real sexual assault story that actually happened? And it isn't even just... So let me actually read a little bit from the story here. They say, uh, Now two more sources have come forward to corroborate certain details about Reed's claims. One of them, a former neighbor of Reed's, has told Insider for the first time on the record that Reed disclosed details about the alleged assault to her in the mid-1990s. Um, as I said, quote, this happened, and I know it did because I remember talking about it. Uh, Linda LaCase, who lived next door. Uh, the other source, Lorraine Sanchez, who worked with Reed in the office of a California state senator in the mid-90s, told Insider that she recalls Reed complaining at the time that her former boss in Washington, D.C. had sexually harassed her and that she had been fired after raising concerns. Again, someone else that is now out discussing how they knew about this. And the Biden campaign continues to say it's not true. They have refused to actually uh, respond to any of these specific uh, uh, pieces of, uh, of evidence. They just completely, completely ignoring it, just saying not true, not true, not true, hoping it all goes away. And a reminder here of uh, one of the prominent voices, as I mentioned her name earlier, Alyssa Milano in Me Too, who came out back in uh, the beginning of April saying, I explain my silence on the allegations against Joe Biden in this clip. I am still endorsing Joe Biden. Listen to this clip and find out why. Let me link, in case you didn't see it, I'll link to my story on what Alyssa Milano said at the time. I'll link to that above the video. It's just... <sighs> 
It's it's gross. It's gross. These people that ride this wave pretending they care about these sorts of allegations, pretending that they're going to fight for people who have been who have been assaulted, harassed, whose voices have been silenced. They pretend they're going to fight for them and then when they have a story against somebody that they support personally, that they like personally, that they know, oh, not real, fake story, I don't believe it, whatever. Just totally disgusting. And it's also important to remind uh, everybody that there are actually real fighters in that movement that do stand up for uh, women in these allegations. Rose McGowan, former co-star with Alyssa Milano, called out Alyssa Milano at the time, saying, you are a fraud. This is about holding the media accountable. You go after Trump and Kavanaugh saying, believe victims, you are a lie. You have always been a lie. The corrupt DNC is in, this, is in on the smear job of Tara Reid. So are you. Shame. And a reminder, again, that the guy that broke the story, Ryan Grimm, broke this Tara Reid story, also was part of breaking the story against Brett Kavanaugh. So where's the defense now? What's the defense? People are going to have a... W- Democrats, Biden's campaign, going to have one hell of a time trying to convince people to come out and vote for him. Now, as I've discussed, there are many anti-Trump voters. They're just going to c- come out and vote for Biden regardless. They want to vote against uh, Donald Trump. They want to get Trump out. And I get it. And yes, you can say, oh, but Trump is much worse. Trump is <laughs> Trump is the worst... Uh, or the the worst sexual assaulter. So, sure, two sexual assaulters on the ballot, but one is worse than the other one. At some point, do you just stop and think, this is crazy? 